The history of the Ozarks farming life is much different today. Ozark agriculture in the mid-1800s produced crops that fed the settlers. Most farm families raised diverse crops. Most of the crops seen then are no longer seen in the Ozarks today. The agriculture in the mid-1800s was the pioneer's experience. Poor families would occupy the land as what they called squatters. They would work the land and transform it into a valuable farm. The families would hope to purchase the land later. The average price for land would be between 12 and a half cents to $1.25 an acre, depending on the condition of the land. If any outside settlers traveled to the Ozarks with money, they would be able to purchase the improved land for 3 to $10 per acre. The earliest settlers would pick only the bottom of the lands. Here, they believe the Ozark region would be able to sustain annual crops. Farmers rarely built fences to mark their limits. Instead, they split logs into rails and placed them along the fence to prevent livestock from grazing. For the winter, they would build pens and roof shelters to protect the livestock from predators at night. Pioneers came to the land with different types of crops and trees that they had grown in their previous home. Corn and wheat were the most common. They were among the very few crops that they could trade with their neighbors. Most families produced a small crop of cotton to blend with their wool for clothing. Farmers would set aside small patches of land for squash, beans, watermelon, and muskmelons. If the farmer was smart, they would also plant a variety of apple and peach trees in an orchard. If they stored the apples, they could be marketed in the spring to their neighbors. Farmers praised their livestock. The most common being horses, cattle, hogs, sheep, and chickens. Hogs commonly were raised for meat for the dinner table. Chickens provided eggs for the family, and an occasional fried chicken was a favorite Sunday meal whenever a visitor had come. Milking the family cows provided not only milk, a favorite beverage, but also cream for butter. Horses and oxen were vital for transportation and plowing fields. Cattle and hogs consumed cattle, horses, and mules were livestock in high demand and were some of the few farm products that could travel overland on hoof to a distant market. Sheep were raised carefully, for their wool was a major source for the family's clothing and blankets. Ozark's livestock, therefore, was very similar to anywhere in the United States. Farm families approached feeding their livestock in two ways. During the day, cattle, horses, hogs, and sheep were free to range over the common land to graze at will. At night, the farmers within half a mile of other families occasionally could hear their neighbors calling out for their stray pig, cow, or lamb, with a reward of some supplement to their livestock's diet, such as corn, or scraps from the table reserved for hogs that were called first slaughter. Today in the Ozarks, farming is unlikely. You might know a few people that have small farms, and a community-supported agriculture, or also known as the CSA, is local but small farm. The members of the Farmer Garden pledge to advance to cover anticipated costs of the farm operation and a farmer's salary. In return, they receive shares of the farm's production throughout the growing season as well as satisfaction gained from reconnecting to the land. In northwest Arkansas, part of the Ozarks, there are three community-supported agricultural farms. Wildfire, operated by Marcy Brewster and Diane Schmucker at Huntsville, Madison County, Charlotte's Ranch, operated by Mark and Linda Sicarno in Fayetteville, Washington County, west of I-540, the nonprofit Heifer Project International on the fingers of the Ozarks near the Arkansas River, Little Rock, and Conway. Wildfire Farm has been in business for several years and serves Carroll, Madison, and Washington counties. Experienced farmers and gardeners, Marcy Brewster and David, Smucker provide seasonal vegetables to 10 shareholders. Fayetteville shareholders pick up weekly at designated central location. Charlotte's Ranch provides twice weekly from May to October. Shareholders pick up the farm located in Cato Springs Road in the southwest Fayetteville in shadow of Mount Kelser. Charlotte's Ranch is certified organic by Arkansas's Certified Organic. 16 CSA farms are located in Missouri in the Ozarks. Southern Mo. They include Autumn Lane Farms, Springfield, serving Greater Springfield. Green and Christian Counties is operated by Ison Family. Burger Bluff Farm is in Burger, Missouri, is in its 12th year of <laughs> subscription farming. CSA Farm. 
serving families in the St. Louis area. This is certified organic farm in the logs in the agriculture. So as you can see, agriculture today is very different than it was in the past. Thanks for listening.